You are watching an advanced prototype robot unit of the full aircraft robotic laser depaint system remove paint from an F-16 aircraft. This system is designed, developed, and built for the United States Air Force, or USAF, by Concurrent Technologies Corporation, or CTC, in partnership with the Carnegie Mellon National Robotics Engineering Center, or NREC, with CTC as the system integrator. The final goal of this effort is to achieve operational capability of two depaint facilities at Hill Air Force Base in 2014 and 2015, one each for the F-16 Falcon and C-130 Hercules. The facilities will use production class versions of this system. Conservative estimates reveal dramatic benefits from the full aircraft robotic laser depaint system when compared with currently used methods. Depaint throughput capacity will increase by 37% for the F-16 and 61% for the C-130. Per unit cost will decrease by 70% for F-16 and 77% for C-130. Labor will decrease by 70% for F-16 and 59% for C-130. Material usage and waste will decrease by 71% for F-16 and 54% for C-130. Annual savings over current processes at current capacities are over $2.5 million for F-16 and $11.6 million for C-130, for a combined annual savings of over $14.1 million. This robotic unit breakdown identifies the mobile base unit, which provides the main frame and mobility for the 14-ton unit, the mast, which supports large amplitude vertical movement, and ingress-egress from the mobile base unit body. The vertical transport, which moves an objective unit vertically along the mast. The COTS robotic manipulator, which mounts to the vertical transport and controls six degrees of freedom in movement. And the end effector, which mounts to the robotic manipulator and provides several functions. The end effector components and functions are as follows. A laser energy scanner controls laser energy focus and beam direction. Optical sensors collect data for the surface property analyzer. LED lights illuminate the surface for the optical sensors. An effluent removal system collects and removes waste material. Air knives direct effluent to the effluent removal system ducting. And a scanning laser sensor senses and collects 3D data for surface mapping. Data from the robot includes the optical sensors, scanning laser sensor, and collision avoidance sensors. Control commands sent to the robot are for the mobile base unit, robotic manipulator, and laser energy scanner. Energy is provided to the robot in the form of electricity, laser, cooling water, and compressed air. This 6 kilowatt laser system provides the laser energy. The production class system for the F-16 Falcon will utilize two robots and remove 90% of the outer mold line top coat in 26 hours. The C-130 Hercules system will utilize four robots, two of which have enhanced reach for the greater C-130 dimensions. The system will depaint 90% of the aircraft in 75 hours. The green hue in this video is caused by laser protective glass. The system treats the aircraft one section at a time. Once an operator initiates the system for a particular section, the only human involvement is to monitor operation for safety. The robotic manipulator precisely articulates the end effector slightly above the surface, while the surface property analyzer discriminates between top coat, primer, and substrate. The overall control subsystem uses the surface property analyzer output to determine where to apply laser energy and the magnitude, and sends commands to the laser and laser energy scanner to execute the decision. The system is able to remove top coat only, or both top coat and primer. This section of treated wing shows zinc chromate primer remaining after top coat removal. With this fuselage section, the system navigated around the gun fairing, demonstrating the virtual masking capability to avoid selected areas. The production class system will be able to depaint the tighter curves of this gun fairing. This time-lapse video captures operation at 10 times the actual speed to demonstrate system operation over the full aircraft in a relatively short time interval. At this speed, it would still require over two and a half hours to view the full time-lapse coverage. The clips were selected to represent full coverage in a little over a minute.
The varying pattern used to guide the end effector avoids heat buildup that would occur from dwell in a particular location. The system waits two minutes before revisiting any surface with an aluminum substrate and five minutes with a composite substrate. The production class systems will operate in existing aircraft hangars because typical hangar floors adequately support robot weights and are adequately smooth to allow proper mobile base unit movement. Robotic laser depaint systems are flexible in their ability to treat multiple aircraft types, with the only limiting factor being the physical reach of the robots. They are logistically robust to accommodate robot MICAP contingencies. The F-16 system is capable to operate with a single robot, while the C-130 system can operate with three, two, or one robots. Full aircraft robotic laser depaint technology is a game changer for aircraft depaint operations, enabling the depaint task with a fraction of the labor and throughput time, eliminating personnel exposure to hazardous substances and repetitive motion injuries, and substantially reducing environmentally harmful material disposal over current methods. The CTC NREC robotic laser depaint systems built for the USAF are logistically flexible, maintainable, and suitable for deployment, especially in the current sustainment environment.